Hi, this uh, short presentation uh, dealing with the time value of money concept, the present value of a single sum. The present value for a single of a single sum um, formula is really just the inverse of the uh, future value. So um, we'll look at it here that the present value is really one divided by one plus the interest rate k or sometimes i raised to the nth power meaning the number of periods so that's the mathematical formula we're going to use as we look at this um, and we'll learn a couple of other ways in this presentation how to do it i want to show you um, i want to talk about the financial tables um, how to do it with this this formula here and then also how to solve this with your financial calculator all right, <clears throat> so the basic concept here, we'd use the present value factor um, in order to determine uh, the present value of uh, an amount. So um, let me just maybe conceptually give you an idea of why we would use this. One of the things that we might want to do is if we know some amount in the future, let's say five years from now we need to pay off a hundred thousand dollars in bonds um, so we know that future amount a hundred thousand dollars we would po probably want to figure out what is that worth in today's dollars what is it worth in present dollars and so we would use this uh, concept here the present value of a single sum so it's a one-time amount in the future we would want to figure out what that's worth in today's dollars Okay, so let's look at this example here, uh, present value of a single sum. Let's say that we know five years in the future we, uh, we're we going to have an amount of 84253 What we want to know is how much is that worth in today's dollars, assuming again it's going to be five years and the interest rate is 11% per year. All right, so which table do we use? The table we frequently use for this is known as the present value of a single sum. A lot of times it's table two. And if you, again, depending on what textbook you're using, these tables are either in the appendix of your chapter or back in the appendix in your um, textbook. And uh, these present value factors are a pretty simple way to do this. So if you find table two, it would look something like this. Um, so again, you see the interest rates across the top. We see the time periods uh, down the side. And of course, so what, what factor are we looking for? Uh, we're looking at 11% for five uh, periods. So we're looking at 15, uh, 0.59345. So if we take the future value, 84,253, multiply that by 50.59345, we arrive at the present value of $50,000. So that future value five years from now is, is worth $50,000 in today's money. So that's the table approach. The other way we can solve it is doing using the formula, the mathematical formula that we had earlier uh, in the presentation. So if I take the future value and multiply it by the present value calculation, I can arrive at the correct number. So in this case, it's 1 divided by 1 plus the interest rate raised to the fifth power. I multiply that out. Again, again I get 0.59345. I multiply those together, and I get $50,000. Finally, the last way that you might look to do this is using a financial calculator. Uh, with your financial calculator, n is the number of periods, y is the interest rate per year, um, pv is the present value. In this case, we don't know the present value. That's what we're going to solve for. fv is the future value. That we do know. So if I plug this information into my calculator, n is 5, 11% is uh, i, future value, oops, excuse me, the future value is 84,253. I then solve for the present value and I get $50,000.
Okay, I hope this uh, will help you with the concept of uh, present value of a single sum. Again, when we know the future amount, this helps us figure out the, um, the amount in today's dollars.